Morgan Brown. We got all these beautiful people here tonight. It's such a beautiful night. I know some people think it's too hot, but being a southern boy, I think it's great. Yeah. So, you know what I want to do? I just got to rock. You got it.
one day when he came home from work and I say, hey daddy, you what son? I say, daddy, I know what I want to grow up to be. He say, you don't want to work in a factory like me? I said, no daddy, I don't want to work in no factory. I don't want to do nothing like that. I want to play guitar and sing it. Play roll over Beethoven like Chuck Berry. And he say, Chuck Berry, I never heard of him. I said, but daddy, he's cool. And he's cool, he goes, man, you know, I, I like Bing Crosby and Perry Como and Rosemary Clooney and Doris Day and I said, well, Daddy, this is all different, you know? This is like, well, rock and roll and kind of rhythm and blues and like, see, Chuck Berry is this black man who sings and plays guitar and he's brought us all together. And he goes, well, I said, Daddy, I want to play guitar. He goes, what, well, you? You want a guitar, you go ask your mother. See, because at that time, my mother and dad had already split up, so. I went over to my mother's house. She lived with my grandmother at that time. And uh, my grandmother used to babysit me when I was just a little kid. And she had an acoustic guitar that I used to make believe with. And so, I said, hey mama, I said, I want to learn to play guitar and sing like Chuck Berry. And he goes, oh, Chuck Berry. Yeah, I really like Chuck Berry. And my grandma goes, I like Chuck Berry too. The way he dances is crazy, but you know. So I got my first guitar, I was 11 years old. I took some lessons, I worked really hard. And then when I was 12 years old at Christmas time, there were a couple of big boxes my grandpa carried into the house and set next to the tree. And guess what? My first electric guitar and amplifier from Sears and Robot. And you know what? That was the beginning for me. And you know, man, I, I got into all the Chuck Berry stuff and Bo Diddley. You know, and, and, and they were my first guitar idols, you know, and I mean, I love Chuck, I mean, all the cool stuff, School Days, 30 Days, and Maybelline, and Johnny Be Good, and oh, there were so many great songs, Nadine, and on and on and on and on, he was such a great writer, and uh, well, then, you know, Chuck kind of led me to Freddie King and Albert and BB and Albert Collins and Matt Murphy and Muddy and Wolf and on and on and on and on. But Chuck was the first one. So that's why I wrote this song. Because I wanted to have a little Chuck Berry in my thing, you know. And at the time, I didn't think much of it. It's some of the real blues daddy album. And you know, it's kind of funny we did that in 94. But I'm just having a little fun here. I know a couple Chuck Berry licks, but well, you know, Chuck doesn't do any Brian Lee, so you know, it's, it's cool if I kind of kind of mess around, you know? Yeah. Cause I just can't help it. That's the way I am. <laughs> 